Hey guys, welcome back to GGS Care Reviews. This is Seth. Don't mind the background noise. This is old tech. I've got loads of it. Well, not really, but I still got some. So I'm I'm just gonna go over some of the old stuff that I have. Um, like some games, more games, uh, a processor for the games. But basically, used to be an MP3 player. Except to have one album, you gotta have this massive thing. Um, an old webcam from Logitech back when they even had that weird sun and moon logo thing. So I'm going to start the Logitech cam. So this he's got a really long cord actually. Um, and it's got this clip thing right here. It can be like really flat. Um, if you click this little button a uh, thing on the side turns on. Uh, it's got like a coverable lens. So this is what the actual camera looks like. It's two megapixels, and it's got a tiny microphone right there. It's garbage. But the cam webcam is actually okay. It's got some weird little um, what's it called? Like the lines down the front. I can't remember what it's called exactly. Um, next thing is the Sony. Uh, gosh darn! I almost said PlayStation. I got a remake of the PlayStation and. 2021, my dad bought it as an impulse buy because, you know, he likes video, old video games and he played on it with his friends a lot. Um, because he didn't have one. He had a, uh, NES. He didn't get an SNES. Um, or a PlayStation 1. But we did get a smaller remake of it. Uh, Mr. Who's the Boss has a video of it. He's good. I just love tech YouTubers. And I like modeling mine after the, after theirs sometimes. Um, so this is the Sony Walkman. It's got the little tiny display right here. One battery, which is actually pretty rare. Um, it doesn't necessarily look cool. It's got a weather band. It's got 40 presets on it. T FM, AM, cool. TV, WB, not sure how you would use that. And then a bunch of other buttons. It also, it's got mega bass, which actually, like, amplifies the bass. It's got, like, a tiny amplifier in here somewhere. Here's the room for the tape. Um, if you had a tape thing, you could actually plug that into an MP3 player. I'm not sure why you would, though. I think those are mostly made for cars. They go into speakers. So if this was a speaker, and, like, I know we have this huge thing in our basement. It's two tapes, and it's just humongous. It's incredibly heavy. So these are the games, and starting with the Missile Command, you know it doesn't have a cartridge. You know, ooh, it's orange, $2 at a thrift store. You know you've seen it. Um, this is the Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP. It's really good, except for the di except for the digital camera thing. Um, the one that I just pulled out is Road Trip. This is the most, like, the best video game that I've seen. I'm going to make a, another video on that. Um, so I'm not going to do it right now. This just plays movies from Nickelodeon, like, episodes. Tetris! Love. Some 13-year-old just beat it. This is the time of the video. Um, even though only computers have beaten it before, so it's... Pretty cool. And most people say, in the course of human history. Well, this hasn't been around for the course of human history. Um, this is some garbage, incredible, and Finding Nemo games. Um, Lego Star Wars, near to impossible on level 8. Uh, Namco Museum, classic. It's got Galaga, Galaxian, uh, Dig Dug, Mrs. Pac-Man, and my one of my least favorite games of all time, Pole Position, which is near impossible. For me, at least, maybe you've completed it to actually like get win the first race. Revenge the Gitter. It's an interesting pinball game. It's actually pretty good though because there's a lot of secret levels. Um, Tarzan, confusing. Uh, R type, good, but you won't last long. Frogger's Adventure is just there's a point where the, the enemies are overpowered. Super Mario Advance only has the first and second, not the third Super Mario game, so it's okay. Golf, oh, golf, near impossible, for me at least. Dr. Mario, based off of Tetris, really good. Three different themes. Um, of course, the, the, the Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP comes with the charging cable, which is actually really cool, because that's the only one that has that. Besides the, I think the big purple one might have one. Um, this one runs on a battery, actually, inside of the cartridge. It rumbles the entire thing. So this thing's got, like, a vibration thing in it. So I think they made a series of these called the Rumble, and these are for the Game Boy. Not the Game Boy Advance, but the Game Boy. They have their own, like, special screws. 
And it's really good because this is actually, you've got red and blue based off of the original two games. And you can hit big. And also, it's got a Pokédex, which it actually doesn't go in order of alphabetical. It actually goes in order in which they were made. So, like, number one is Squirtle, I think. Um, so, I'm going to make a later video uh, video on this. Um, this, I gotta say, is the best Nintendo Game Boy Advance cartridge ever that I have out of these, and eh, whatever. Um, also, they come with lots of cases, but I didn't want to include them because you, I wanted you to see them in their full potential, I'm assuming. Um, so that's pretty much it. Bye.